Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to Monday's maths lesson. So, as a warm-up today, we're going to practice counting forwards and backwards on a number line from 0 to 20 and 20 back to 0. We'll start off from 0. Can you count along with me up to 20? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now pause the video and have a go at doing that yourself. So well done to anybody who did that. This time we're going to count backwards from 20 to 0. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now have a go at pausing the video and doing that on your own. Right, now I've got a challenge at the bottom. Can you try starting on different numbers? So maybe you could start on the number 12 and count forward to 20. So you can pause your video here. Now can you have a go at starting on 16 and counting backwards to 0? Pause your video. Well done. This time can you start on the number 6 and count forwards to 20? So pause your video. And finally, start on 19 and count all the way back to zero. So pause your video here. Now, of course, you could make this even trickier by trying it without having a number line in front of you. So you could turn around and have a go at doing the same thing without a number line. Right, today's main learning activity is all about our number bonds. So, we are learning to derive, which means work out, our number bonds to 10. Now remember, these are pairs of numbers that add together to make 10. Now, for today's lesson, you're going to need 10 objects. It could be 10 Lego bricks, 10 pieces of pasta, 10 stones, 10 pens, 10 anything that you have around the house. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's small enough for you to move around on the table because you're going to be using it for your maths. So, pause the video and go and find 10 objects. Well done, now that you've got your 10 objects, and I've chosen 10 stones today, we are going to be splitting it into two groups to add together. Now we're not sharing, so they don't need to be equal, they can be different numbers. So, uh, I'm gonna have two in my group here, and I'm going to move the others over here. So let's count up what I've got. So I've got one, two here, how many have I got on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight here. So I've got two, and I'm going to add eight together, add eight on, and what will it make all together? I wonder, how many did we start off with? So well done to everybody who said it's ten all together. So I could write this as a number sentence. I can start off with two, because that was my first group on this side, and I'm adding on another eight. So two add 8 equals 10. So well done to everybody who had already spotted the number sentence at the bottom and had a go at writing that. Now I'm just going to check that 2 add 8 really does make 10. So I've got 2 here and I'm going to add on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then we'll count them all up just to check that it was 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2 add 8 does make 10. Right, then it's time to have another go. So we're repeating the same thing, we're just going to split it into two groups. Remember, they don't need to be equal. And then we're going to write the numbers and then create a number sentence. So this time, maybe I want four on this side. How many have I got on this side? I've got one, two, three, four here. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six over here. So I've got four and another six and add them all together and it makes 10. Fine, pause the video here and have a go on either a piece of paper or a whiteboard and tell me what would the adding number sentence be? So well done to everybody who said it was four and six makes 10. And of course you can put them all back together and work out the total yourself and add them up just to double check your workings. So, Today, what am I looking for in your work? So I can find the pairs of numbers that total 10 using practical resources. And remember, the practical resources are just the objects that you're going to be counting. And then I can write these as number sentences. Now, I had a go at home as well. And I had some really uh, shiny beads in one of my candle jars. So I used 
line. I started off with 10, I split them into two groups, I wrote the numbers, and then I wrote the number sentence. Now it's up to you, you could take photos of your work, you could draw it and then write the number sentence. I'd love to see all the different ways that you find to make 10 and the different ways that you show me it in your books. So good luck with today and I hope you have fun with your maths.